Myth number two, hyperbaric is great for weight loss. In fact, while I do think it improves cellular metabolism, which we'll talk about in a minute, by itself, I don't think it will have much of an impact on weight gain or weight loss almost at all. And even if we wanted to use hyperbaric to improve cellular metabolism, which we certainly could and should, it has to be part of a greater program that also balances those other areas, depending on what challenges a person has, whether they're metabolic challenges, hormonal challenges, inflammatory challenges, or their relationship to food and exercise. So this conversation around weight loss has to include all of these different areas, not just hyperbaric. Hyperbaric can improve cellular metabolism. In other words, when we eat our food and we're creating energy, we need to oxidize that food. So we bring in air in order to extract the oxygen. We eat food in order to produce energy-dense molecules. And then we essentially oxidize that fuel in order to create cellular power and cellular energy. It takes quite a bit more oxygen to burn fat molecules than it does to burn carbohydrates. And as a result, we can use hyperbaric to increase our fat metabolism, but not without also changing our diet. We would also have to lower our glucose and carbohydrate intake, increase our fat intake, and start to shift our bodies into a fat burning mode. And then we could utilize increased levels of oxygen to really improve the rate at which we're burning that fat for energy. In some of our more chronically ill patients, we use strategies like that where we're shifting someone's metabolism into something more of a ketogenic diet, which is a very heavily fat burning diet. And then we utilize ketogenic diet and fasting along with hyperbaric to really drive the fat burning processes inside of our cells. But again, alone, this is not a tool for just generic weight loss.